Year of reporting. Hello comrades. I really like Harvest, but damn, it just keep crashing the game. So yeah, to keep progressing my character, I need much more investments. And my main form of earning currency is Harvest, like every league, except now I can finally run any map, thanks to new passive tree. But it's pretty boring doing the same thing over and over. So it's time to farm something new. Conquerors, with this new node, which gives 25% increased chance to drop a Conqueror Exalt. The result may surprise you. Yep, 27 maps, 0 exalts. Let's get back to casual farm. Many people keep asking me about who's better, Raider or Slayer. So let's compare this two characters. Overwhelm, 37% DPS, Impact, 19, Bane of Legends, 20, and Headsman, 20% Culling. Slayer literally tripled our DPS. But what about Raider? Yes, Avatar of Veil is good. But the whole ascendancy point for one frenzy charge, and plus 10% DPS is just too sad. Damage boost from ascendancy is just uncomparable. Raider is good only for Ice Bite Shaco build, with million currency investment, but nothing more. Also, I start using Phantasmal Flicker Strike, which increased teleport range, and with new amulet, Ashes of the Stars, teleport range has become insane. So, trade after trade, I finally have some currency, and the first purchase gonna be replica ferals fur. Since I don't need power charges from standard ferals fur, because we can sustain it, from assassin mark. Also, this new two jewels, with masterful form ascendancy, which gives me plus one frenzy charge, and tons of endurance charges. After couple fusings, I accidentally did 6 link. On 0 quality armor. Sometimes lucky. So I sell it, and buy another one, because second 6 link is useless for us. So, level 95 is done, it's time for real upgrades. First of all, we need new gloves. Double influenced, with plus one frenzy, and additional target mods. These gloves are overpriced garbage, so let's craft them ourselves. So, first of all, we need warlord influence gloves, with frenzy charge. And hunter influence, with additional target. And to craft this two mods together, we need Awakener's Orb. Well, not good, but not super garbage. At least we have open suffix, so we can craft aspect of the cat on it. Next step, better abyssus, with flicker strike enchantment, and bottled faith, which will boost our dps so hard. Boots, we have two choices. Rare boots with tailwind mod, or dark ray vectors, and since dark ray vectors are very cheap in this league, even with damage penetrate enchantment, I choose them. Next upgrade, both rings, and mark of the elder plus shaper steel ring is probably the best choice, and also very cheap since nobody used Mark of the Elder, and Shaper Rings got nerfed. New Rare Belt. And you might wanna ask me, why not using Arn's Anguish? Yes, it's a very good belt for this build, but I really don't wanna lose 36% all resistance, and physical damage reduction, since the build already has tons of damage. 
So, the build almost ready. Hope it was worth it. So yeah, pretty worth it. Also finally killed Maven and Uber Elder, and I really hate the new mechanic, that these two bosses are now mandatory, since Flicker Strike is very bad against them. I'm not sure what to do next, continue to do progression videos, or go back to the usual guides. Leave a comment what do you think. So, thanks for watching, comrades. Annihilating.